Hey everybody, welcome to the Fairy Vibrant Makeup Channel. Um, I'm actually filming from my new apartment in New Mexico, so I am back to filming. Um, I filmed my aquamarine makeup look for you, and I already posted that, so I'll link that down below if you'd like. So I'm going to be doing my March Boxy Charm. I filmed my February, but I forgot to edit and post it, so if you want me to still edit and post it, let me know, because I was kind of in the middle of moving, so... Um, February, end of February, early March was a little bit chaotic, so that's the reason why I forgot to film, or forgot to uh, post my February one. But if you want to see my February one, I can definitely post that for you if you like. So let's get into March. First thing that popped out to me in the box is surprisingly, I, I'm kind of, I've kind of become a skincare junkie. So um, I, when I see skincare, I get excited. But I'm kind of a little disappointed with BoxyCharm that they've been focusing more and more on the makeup rather than the skincare because they used to put a lot of good skincare in there and now they really don't. So I'm kind of disappointed they don't do that anymore. So hopefully, um, BoxyCharm can start doing that. But yeah, I got this. This is called South Main, and they're a three-pack of eye gel packs. So it reduces puffiness, reduces dark circles, and moisturizes the eye area. So I'm not a big fan of eye gels. I really am not. So I don't know what to do with these. I'm just going to give them to my sister because I don't really know what to do with these. But I'll open it up anyways to show you guys. So it comes in a little box, and then you get three sealed eye patches. They all do the same thing, so there's not like different ones. It's just all the same, so it's like a three treatment. So um, if you guys want me to keep you updated, I'll ask my sister to just try them out for three days, and then let me know what she thinks about them, because she's very um, low maintenance, so she doesn't really... Uh, use skincare so I'd like to see more results on her rather than me which I'm addicted to skincare so I have high expectations for skincare or I already have stuff that I'm using that works for me but I want to see what this does for her so um, the instructions go thoroughly cleanse eye area apply this product under the eye leave for 30 minutes reduce puppy it to reduce puffiness and dark circles use promptly after opening for best results, use for three consecutive days. So, this is actually cruelty free. The ingredients are water, glycerin, hydrolyzed elastin, tremella, fusiformis extract, allotone, and then a big word, another big word. There is Mika in here, so if you are allergic to Mika, um, it is on the bottom of the ingredients list, so it's not going to be like as potent as it would be if it were in the beginning of the ingredients list. So yeah, it's um, in very interesting. I've never heard of South Main, so it'd be interesting to see. Like I said, my test dummy is going to be my sister, so I'm going to give these to her, and I will um, update you guys, possibly on my Instagram, and I'll link that down below. Um, so you guys know how this went for a skincare newbie. All right, so these are by South Main Beauty. Like I said, um, this is uh, retails for ten dollars, so it's very cheap for a three-day treatment eye mask. So it's kind of the same cost. I would say maybe a little bit more than Tony Moly, which is at Ulta. Uh, Tony Moly is a Korean brand, and I really, really like it. It, I mean, I like their sheet masks. They're they're very good. But um, yeah. I'll let you guys know. Like I said, it's $10, and that was the skincare in my box, which I really want some more skincare. So, um, in the March Boxy Charm, the theme is called Baycation. I don't like these silly names, I really don't. So, um, yeah, it's very uh, tropical. And it, as always, it comes with this card, and it'll have the list of the items and the prices and where to buy them on the back. So let's get into the box. The next item in the box is going to be from the Vintage Cosmetic Company, and this is the Smoky Eye Brush Set. Now, I'm kind of getting tired of brushes now, even though I said in my earlier videos of BoxyCharm unboxings that I want more brushes. This is the way I collect my brushes. However, I only like the Luxie ones after receiving Luxie ones in the past, so I'm kind of like, okay, I want some Luxie ones. No more. 
All right, let's see how these feel. They feel really nice. I mean, like the handles are really sturdy. They, they are wooden, but they're kind of like coated. So I don't think after you wash them, because you know when you wash your brushes, they, the paint starts chipping off. I don't know if this will do that because it feels a little bit different from Luxie because I do have, I don't think on this one, yes. You can see it on this one, on my Luxie. This is my Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. The paint is chipping right there from washing. So that's the only thing I didn't like about that is that it's exposing the wood. These don't seem like they will do that. They're very soft. The only thing is, is they don't have a crease brush, which I always like having a crease brush in my set. And this retails for $23.15. So this is actually converting it from another um, currency. I guess it says US, uh, GBP slash USD at $1.40. So this is kind of like precise conversion over from another country. So I'm not sure which country that would be. But yeah, so this is a blush, brush trio that'll create a smoky eye. Use your shadow brush to sweep a light shimmery color over the lids. Yeah, and then it comes with a smudger brush and liner brush. So um, I will definitely give this a try after I get into the next item in my box. But, um, yeah, so we'll try those out. They retail for $23.50. All right, so I'm not gonna try the brushes yet because I have to try this guy. Um, this is Pure, but it's collaboration with BoxyCharm. It's an eyeshadow palette. I'm kind of sick of the eyeshadow palettes in the boxes as well, because I'm like, okay guys, I have too many eyeshadow palettes. But this one, I thought about giving it to my niece, but I kind of like the colors because it's very unique. Um, my niece has a lot of eyeshadow palettes too, like me, but um, she has another palette of mine that I've gotten in a boxy charm. Um, she seems to like them. They're very nice, but I do need to try this for the sake of the video. So yeah, this is like, it's got bright colors, it's got transition shades, it's got, this is what I always look for in a palette. A shade that I can set my under eyes or my um, lids with and my and do my brow bone. So we're gonna try this guy out. There's one, two, three, no, two metallics, three, maybe three metallics, and three shimmers, a, a couple of satins, um, two maybe three mattes because this has like micro glitters in it. So let's go ahead and try this out. Um, this retails and it's from Pure. Um, cosmetics. So Pure is a mineral-based uh, makeup line. It is cruelty-free and it's pretty clean. I honestly, I love, 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 I'm a huge fan of their 4-in-1 um, pressed foundations, which I've hit pan on mine, which makes me sad, and I totally missed, because um, it was on sale for the 21 Days of Beauty, but I guess, um, they didn't bring all of them out, and we had a bunch of golden medium, which is my shade, in the back, and I found it the day after. So I was kind of like, oh, dang it. You know, I, they were only like on sale for 50% off, which is really good. Um, but this retails for $36, which is pretty much the standard price of pure um, eyeshadow palettes. They have some really pretty ones at Ulta as well. If you're looking for a shimmery or metallic, they have really good quality shadows. So if you're looking for a different eyeshadow palette, that you want to get your hands on immediately, go to Ulta and they have two different types of eyeshadow palettes. One has a uh, bronzer and a highlight in it and it's a huge palette and it has like beautiful golds, blacks, a uh, black glitter one, um, and like a um, really metallic red. And then the other one is purple. So if you want to check those out, do go by at Ulta so you can check it out. All right, so we're going to try out the palette. Kind of excited. And I'm going to use my new brushes from um, the Vintage Cosmetics. So I do want to put an all-over shade. I did already set my eyes because I can't not set my eyes. I need to, but I'm going to go over it with... Uh, this one's called Perfect or Purefect. Because it's like pure cosmetics and then fact. <laughs> it's funny. So I'm going to put this over top with the angled, I guess, blender brush. That way I can set it even more because it looks like my eyelids are creasing. I guess I didn't set it right. 
Okay, and then I'll take that same brush, dip it into... I want to do this peach right here. And then I'm going to kind of set it because it looks like it fits really nice in the crease. So I'll just put it back and forth. It's very like neon. It's very nice. It's more of a satin, so it's not really a matte, but I, I don't mind putting satins in my crease because I like that shimmery effect. It's really nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this brush. It's like a flatter brush. And we're going to dip into the purple because I really want to try this purple. Wonder if I should put it all over my lid or just in the outer corner. I think I want to do a halo eye with this. I always like halo eyes. This comes off more like, yeah, it comes off really purple on me. Like a fuchsia purple. Blends out really nice. Alright, so I'm going to go back with that brush and take that peach and buff out the edges here. Just really, really springy. So I like the fact that they coordinated the colors of the spring um, theme in the eyeshadow palette. So I really like for my box to make sense. I mean, this um, isn't a very bright brow bone shade, so I think I might just mostly set my eyes with it rather than... Um, use it for a brow bone. So I'm just going in and buffing it out. There is a really nice, I don't know if I want to use, oh that one doesn't even show up. I kind of use this rose color right here, like this really pink kind of peachy color. So I'll take the smaller brush, pick some of that up, it doesn't show up, so I'll use my finger. Hmm. It's not that bright. It is not that bright at all. <laughs> so I don't really like, and this is the color Bay, so it's like a shimmery pink and it's not really like in person it doesn't show up that much on camera it doesn't show up that much so it's not really my favorite don't know if I like it hmm I feel like I need to deepen my corner so I'm going to take ATL which is like a wine shimmer right here and I need to deepen this a little bit more just to make that um, color pop out just a little more. Doesn't deepen it too much though. All right, so when I, I had to put Duet, which is the brown, um, to really deepen it and then go back and brighten it again and it looks way better now. There's a little bit more contrast there, but there wasn't really any with just that purple shade alone. B it's called BFF. Now I'm going to take this small smudger brush. And I'm going to take the teal because I really want to dive into that teal. And I'm just going to put it on my lower lash line. It's pretty teal. Very pretty, so and then I'll go in with it's called Nakey. 
it's this peak right here and then just kind of smoke out my lower lash line and blend that teal diffuse the teal a lot though I don't want that teal to go away okay now for the inner corner I'm going to take Charmer which is a brighter kind of shade it's not too bright actually I'm just going to pop that in my inner corner okay so that's the eye look. It's not completed yet. I have to do mascara and all that, but um, I kind of feel like I need to put charmer on my brow bone to really make this look complete. Looks way better. All right, so I'm going to get into the rest of the boxy charm, and then I will finish my eyes. All right, next thing in the box, which I'm really excited about because I wanted to try this brand. This is pretty vulgar. It's actually sold on Sephora. Where'd my card go? Um, this is available on Sephora and it is retailed at $26, which is not bad for a product. I just like the fact that this has like a really fancy, but it does feel kind of cheap in like almost physician's formula quality. <laughs> it doesn't look that high quality, but the color is very pretty. I have the shade Hush Blush. So it's really pretty. Um, it's a matte. And like I said, this is uh, $26 and it's a real, real pretty kind of soft mauve. It really will complement my skin tone and I think it'll look really nice with the look. So I'm going to put my bronzer on and then I'm going to demonstrate how the blush looks. Alright, so the bronzer that I used today is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. Um, I really like it because it's very shimmery. I'm going to be using a Morphe brush from that, um, it's like the face kit. And I'm going to dip into this guy. Ooh, put a little too much on. It's very pigmented. It's really soft, but it's not... too bad. Well, the blush is pretty. It's it's soft, but it is kind of pigmented, so you have to really blend it out. Um, I need to put my highlight on. This is actually from another BoxyCharm that I didn't film. Well, I did film, but didn't edit, so I'm just going to kind of not put it in view, but I'm using the highlighter. Because I promise, guys, I will, I will post it. I just need... I've been trying to settle in. I just moved from one state to another, so if you still want that video, I definitely have it ready, just need to edit and post it. It'll be very late though, because it's I'm filming March and this one will go up before that one. So yeah, I do like the blush, it's not bad. Okay, so now we're going to do the final item in the box, and then I will tally up the total of how much the box is worth, and then I will let you know my thoughts on my favorite products in this month's box. I put my lips on. This is a buxom shade called Paradise Found. They are the Vava Plump uh, lip lacquers. Those are really, really good if you haven't tried them. Um, so the final thing in my box is the Butter London Double Decker uh, Mascara. I have so many mascaras, I don't need another one. But, I mean, it's a really pretty, and I've always wanted to try the Double Decker because we used to have Butter London in my old store in Colorado and then we took it out. And then in my new store, I have Butter London, so I'm very excited to have it back. Um, so this is the Butter London um, Double Decker Lashes Mascara. It retails for $20, which is standard for a prestige mascara. Um, it says get 200, that's a big claim, 200 thicker, percent thicker lashes in just one coat, and that's an odd number, 314% increase in lash curl 
The interlocking nylon fiber brush grasps each individual lash to lengthen, curl, and multiply lashes from root to tip. It's a big claim, Butter Londons, but let's try it out. Alright, so I zoomed you super close. This is what the brush looks like. It's one of those bristle brushes. It does fan it out pretty well. That's just one coat, it's not bad. Here's the difference. It is massively, like, wow. I didn't know I had that many lashes, but like, that's intense. Look at that. Almost looks like I have fake lashes on. I use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which is my favorite mascara. And this actually does way better than that. I don't have to work as hard. I only did two coats. I am thoroughly impressed with this mascara. It's actually really, really nice. It looks like I have fake lashes on, so I really, really like the outcome. All right, so let's tally up the total from this month's box, and then I will let you know my overall thoughts. It's $115.15, since we have that odd number right there from the Smoky Eye Makeup Brush Set. Um, but I overall really like this box. I mean, I'm not a crazy fan of the pure just yet. Um, I just, I just don't, I don't know, I just don't, it doesn't blend as well as I thought it would. Because I'm putting this up against kind of comparing it to the quality in the um, other eyeshadow palettes that I have at Ulta versus this one and those ones are much creamier, much smoother, way more metallic in the metallic shades. So this bo this palette isn't really far up there. I mean, I've had another pure palette in the boxy charm, but I had passed that on cuz I just didn't like it. And this one is mm, it's okay. It's unique. Really goes with that spring vibe. The brushes, to me, they do perform pretty well. It's not my favorite. I still love my Luxie brushes that I've gotten in BoxyCharm, so these aren't anything new. BoxyCharm, I wish you would just stop doing the brushes for a little bit, get into some skincare because we got to get ready for summer, and I think that would be a perfect opportunity for you to try out skincare in your boxes. I know makeup sells, but ladies... Skincare is number one over makeup just because if your skin isn't looking great, then your makeup is not going to look great. So I think uh, skincare needs to be brought back into the boxy charms so we can really focus on that and get our skin prepped for beautiful makeup for maybe the fall or even the summer. Just saying. Um, of course, I didn't try the South Main because I'm going to pass this on to my sister. I will let you know how these go. Um, I will have her <laughs> kind of update me from her three consecutive days of using it and see if she really likes it because she is a skincare newbie, so I really want this to be tested on her. And then, let's see, the Pretty Vulgar. I wanted to try this so badly, and I really do like it. I just hate the packaging because it's kind of cheap, even though it looks really pretty. It's pretty cheap for $26. This is like physician's formula grade uh, type of packaging. So this needs to be a lot less than what it is. Of course, it's not that cost when you get BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is $21 a month for like more than $100 worth of product. So I think this is, uh, if you were to buy it on its own, I don't think it'd be worth the $26. And then, of course, the mascara, which I absolutely love. I've been wanting to try the Double Decker mascara for the longest time, but then my store in Colorado took it out, so I didn't get to try it. But um, now that I have it back, I can really speak to it in the store, and my lashes don't feel crunchy. It feels very fluffy, so that's good. That's something that I look into mascara. Um, but yeah, that's this month's box for March. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me coming back and doing my videos again. Um, I will have a couple videos that um, will be have been filmed already, but I haven't had the time to edit them, but I will have those next week. I will try and get this one up as soon as possible because I did post my aquamarine one, so I wanted to post again. It's going to be twice a week that I'll be posting videos because I do work a full-time job and um, 
finding the time and carving out that time to film is a little bit difficult for me, but I promise guys I will be getting back into the more artistic mode because I actually got really inspired and very happy that my dad enjoyed my videos. He doesn't really watch YouTube and he's very... I don't know, he watched one of my videos, he says, oh wow, you're very good. I kind of felt really um, surprised by that because my dad's not into all that YouTube stuff. And I mean, um, I've always had support from my husband to do more artistic things, but I haven't really... I guess I've had a dry spell for the past year just because what has happened to my family and what has happened to my life. Um, since losing my mom, it's I've just my inspiration for creativity has kind of fizzled but I hope I will get back into that and create more creatures for you guys. I really want to get more into like fantasy creatures because um, I do have prosthetics and I have a bunch of like grease makeup so I want to get more into that so hopefully I can really show you guys my artistic skills and then of course maybe do a painting um, speed through type of process um, show you how I paint. I did one in the past videos where I posted my Sagittarius being created but I really want to focus on doing new artwork and revamping a birthstone series or maybe revamping my zodiac series which I still really love but I don't wanna I don't I don't know I don't want I don't know what to go with this one but I do have um, a sketch that I really really want to uh, paint um, and you've seen her on my Instagram. Um, if you want to see my artwork, my Instagram for my artwork is the Fairy Vibrant Realm. Um, and then, of course, my regular Instagram is uh, Fairy Vibrant. So if you wanted to see my makeup looks or if you wanted to see my um, art, you know, I have those two. I will link those down below as well. Um, I don't link my Facebook because that is my personal Facebook, but I do have a page for my videos. Um, I haven't really posted on that page, but it's the it's the Fairy Vibrant um, makeup ch um, Facebook. So if you can find that, I will link that down below as well if you can't find it on your own. Um, but yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I appreciate the comments that I've seen. Um, that they've been really supportive in my uh, little hiatus, so I'm very appreciative of those of you that have commented and said that they really like my videos and I've gotten quite a few subscribers um, that have uh, really liked my videos so if you guys have any other suggestions on content please let me know and if you really want to see my creatures come to life and my art come back then let me know as well so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye